On this episode of Enika, owner of Street Shack Caribbean Kitchen, Tony Bradshaw is here to show us how to perhaps remix your favorite uh, Caribbean meals, a little remix on Caribbean classics. So he's going to show us that. And Bajan Beauty, Vita Chambers is here. We'll be catching up with her and we'll talk about how she manages to stay so fine. Those details coming up. We ready? hilarious because you know I don't really cook Caribbean food but I'm trying to learn and we've got uh, Tony Bradshaw in with us right now he's from Street Shack Caribbean Kitchen and he's gonna take us through some classic Caribbean dishes with a little bit of a twist Tony good to see you good to see you Anika. thank you so much for coming because you know I'm always craving your your dishes here from thank Street you. Shack so let's talk about how you've sort of remixed some of these classic sure. meals. Uh, what do we have here? What's first? This is the jerk chicken poutine, and it's your regular jerk chicken breast that mm -hmm. we take, we bake it, we slice it up, and we mix it with a beautiful uh, Caribbean gravy. Oh. We take the gravy, we marinate beef bones for like two days, we reduce it all down, then we add the typical uh, cheese curds, mm -hmm. uh, then we top it with some garlic aioli and some scotch bonnet uh, barbecue sauce. Wow, that sounds awesome. Let me yeah. taste, let me get a little small taste sure. here. <laughs> and this of course is very Canadian, very Montreal yes, uh, yes. with the poutine or the poutine, poutine as well. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. That's awesome, Tony. Thank you. I could taste every all of those elements that you mentioned. Thank you. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy, mm -hmm. a little bit of, of everything in there. Oh my God, we might have to stop and just let me just eat this alone. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, let's move on to what we have here. How is this um, a twist? What is this and how have you remixed it? Our second dish is the fish cakes and bakes. Uh, fish cakes are really, really popular in Barbados. And I, I got the, the recipe, the traditional recipe from Barbados. Mm -hmm. But I, what I did with this is made it the same way, but topped it with a lime sour cream and a tamarind glaze just to really okay. uh, there's also actually some pickled cucumber on there mm -hmm. to give you that little bit of a pucker at the end and that's definitely something you wouldn't see as much absolutely you know not. you'll get this in Barbados but you wouldn't get it with all the, the fancy trimmings with it it's it's just straight up with a bottle of a glass of rum and you're good exactly <laughs> you ever had tamarind in the bag you know when you put you put tamarind yes. and then you put it in the bag and you make tamarind balls? I, oh yeah, all Do the you time. Love tamarind? I was just in Barbados in January, mm -hmm. we, we had some tamarind balls, so. I eat that until the roof of my mouth is like That's, sore. Yeah, you're right. Which is you're a problem, right. but it, <laughs> you just can't help it. Yeah, right. um, okay, so I like that. What about this? What do we have here? This is a seared fish sandwich. And for those of you who've been to Barbados, it, there, it's called a cutter. <laughs> okay, that is right. Cutter. We call it a fish cutter back home. Mm -hmm. But what I've done is the bun is actually the same. Uh, this, the salt bread that we that we have in Barbados, this is actually the same bun. Mm -hmm. um, to t put a twist on this, we've put uh, a pickled cabbage. So we take cabbage, we pickle it with thyme and, and um, apple cider vinegar, uh, some some brown sugar. We put that all in. Put this in for about 24 hours and let it marinate. Then we take it out. We top it on top of the fish. And uh, we put some dill yeah. aioli on it. Dill aioli. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like somebody's name, but <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. And so uh, remind us again about uh, where you are and how people can find you, your, your website, you can, Street Shack. Our, our Street Shack website is www.streetshack.com. You can find us on Instagram at, at street, street, shack. Shack, street underscore shack. Yeah. And we're at 646 Queen Street West. So if you're ever in Toronto, make sure you stop by Street Shack and you can taste some of these awesome dishes. Tony Bradshaw, thank, thank you. you so much for this. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Beige and Beauty, as I like to call her. <laughs> Vita Chambers is here. She is a, a Canadian singer, songwriter. Yes. I can't believe you got your start, well, doing stuff on MySpace. I know, I was one of the last ones. 
Wow, good to see you, by good the way. Good to see you too, thank you. Yes, my friend. And you have gone on to do some great stuff since, you know, posting those videos and songs when you're like, yeah. I don't know, 15 Gosh, kind of thing. lifetime ago. It was only five years. No, eight. Wait, eight. <laughs> I've been saying five. Two years. No. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, I was actually, someone asked me how long you've been doing this. Mm -hmm. And I've been saying five years for the past eight years. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's. I do the same thing as yeah, well. I don't even know how old I am. No. I keep, it's good. I'm faking keep it. Keep it that way. That keeps us young. <laughs> but listen, you've, you've You've toured with people like Justin Bieber, another yes. Canadian, yeah. of course. Yes. Um, Fix You was gold, went gold in Canada. Mm -hmm. And you're about to release another EP. Yes. So tell us about that. What's going on? Uh, so yeah, I Fix You, I owe everything to Fix You. Yeah. It was kind of, you know, it was more than just my launching song as well. It did a lot for me emotionally and spiritually because mm -hmm. uh, I was about to quit the music industry. And then I, my mom was like, just release Fix You. Just the last hurrah and then move on wow. then you know I wake up and I hear my songs being nominated for Juno we've gone gold I'm doing an Asian wide tour um, so heavens opened up and mm -hmm. was like no this is your path Good so um, yeah now years later I'm writing my own music and I'm now getting ready to release it's not technically my first EP, but mm -hmm. as an independent artist, this is my first EP. Got it. Okay. And so, what went? What is the feel? What can we expect from that? Well, it kind of uh, came about all on its own um, through my last single, "Want You." Uh, this pr Argentinian producer sent me a picture of him crying, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my God, that's so sweet." It was touched to say the least. And uh, mm -hmm. so we started talking. I talked to my fans. I'm very connected with with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, I'm a producer. So he sent me some of his work and I loved it. So we've been working together. What? And he's on this EP along, his name's, uh, oh God, I can't pronounce his last name, but he's Martino. I love him. He speaks to me in an Argentinian accent. I can't hypnotize. Wow. See, re reach out to Vita. She will reply. Oh, yeah. You can I do get songs with her. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Aaron Fresh is another producer. Um, so many. Quincy Bullen. Yeah. Look at that. I know Quincy Bullen. You do? I do. Yes. So he's his awesome. dad, Eddie Bullen. Yes. Did a show together. Met Quincy. I was like, we have to work together. He's incredible. He is incredible. So cool. Um, can we talk about what else is incredible? Your body. Your body. <laughs> you were in Barbados and like strolling up and down Thank Acre you. Beach, just effortlessly. Um, oh, yeah, what do you shoes. do? Like, look at these pictures. Look at this. <laughs> So the, the, those pictures are um, a friend of mine just started her own uh, fashion company called Safrina, mm -hmm. amazing. And my friend photographer Paula, um, oh my god, it's incredible with their stuff. Yeah. But you eat really well though. Like I, I know you, you're all about clean eating. I do. And stuff all my like friends that. see me when I cheat, so they don't believe any of it. Um, <laughs> but yes, no, I'm very big into clean eating because mm -hmm. I went through my own little health hiccup. Mm -hmm. um, which ended up leading me towards eating organically and eating good foods and nourishing your body and looking mm -hmm. at food as fuel instead of just something to sustain you or, you know, I just need sustenance. Yeah, so, yeah. amazing. Trust me, I'm on my own thing as well. I just did a sugar detox challenge and it amazing. changed my life. So we got to swap stuff. I'm enjoying Absolutely. looking at your Instagram when you put little photos Thank up. Thank you. If you would like to follow Vita, you can Please. check her on her socials. Give us the handles? Yeah, Instagram is Vita Chambers, mm -hmm. Facebook Vita Chambers, my website www.vitachambers.com. No. <laughs> <laughs> awesome Thank girl. <laughs> All the best and good luck in Indianapolis. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. headlining female pride uh, in Indianapolis, uh, yeah, in June, June 8th. Two days before my birthday. Awesome. And also doing WAVE, the 10th year anniversary for anti-violence for teenage kids. Good stuff. Always yeah. doing great things. Thanks so much. Good Thank to see you, you Vita. Thank you so much.